What's up everybody, Nola Deej here, coming to you from the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. So I'm walking up Gerard Street to a very large landmark in New Orleans that everybody has probably seen. Walking under this tunnel here, you can see these doors have a Florida Lee on it and the Roman numerals XLIV, which represents Super Bowl 44 that the New Orleans Saints won. The people in the city are very proud of that moment. We're all very proud of our football team here. In fact, we call ourselves the Houdat Nation, and that's why I end all of my videos calling myself a Houdat. I'd venture to guess that pretty much everybody that lives in this city is a fan of the New Orleans Saints. So a lot of people make their trek through this tunnel on their way to the dome for special events, football games, concerts, whatever. As you get through the other side of this tunnel, there you start to see it, the Superdome. Now called the Mercedes-Benz Superdome, but for years since it was built, it was called the Louisiana Superdome. In fact, it was built in 1975 and it's been the home of the New Orleans Saints ever since. But what I want to show you is actually up the steps there on the left on the second level. But first, let me stop and show you this statue, which shows the famous Steve Gleason blocked punt. It reads, Rebirth. On Monday, September 25, 2006, Steve Gleason was responsible for one of the most dramatic moments in New Orleans Saints history. He blocked a punt in the first quarter of the team's return to the Superdome following Hurricane Katrina. That night, the Saints defeated their rival Atlanta Falcons 23-3. It would kickstart an improbable run for a team that would go on to win the NFC South crown and play for the NFC Championship that season. That blocked punt that season symbolized the rebirth of the city of New Orleans. What I wanted to show you is actually up here on the right. It's a statue for Tom Benson, who is the owner of the Saints since 1985. Tom Benson just passed away on March 15th, so I wanted to come check out the statue because I hear people are leaving flowers and other things at the bottom of it to honor his legacy and to show their appreciation for the man that owned the football team that New Orleans fell in love with. Nope, nope, you can't come in here. Can I just come nope, in? Nope, I just want to get a picture with the Tom Benson no, statue. Up for an event. Okay. Well, I was denied access to see the Tom Benson statue. That sucks. They're setting up for some event or something. So, security wouldn't let me through. I just wanted to go through, get a quick little picture of the statue. They wouldn't let me in. So, maybe next time. But I'll be back. So, stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed a little land yap. Even if it was just a little bit this time. From this hoot at, I go pass a good time.